Hated it! <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you know those guys from like In Living Color? They were like, oh, so hated it! It was like a joke. Did you like it though? Yeah, yeah, I loved it. Okay. I love the movie. So this is just a waste of my time. God, I mean, you spit all over the place. I think you got some in my class. <laughs> this is the second time today I got junk in your glass. <clears throat> What's up YouTube and welcome to another episode of Whiskey Business. My name's Josh. And I'm Mike. And we're here to let you know just how drunk you have to be to watch The Black Panther. The revolution will not be televised. Show me my respect. And bow down. The Black Panther is the long-awaited black superhero movie in the MCU that people have been clamoring for. It's the story of a African king who also is a superhero who is trying to protect his country and also, you know, learn kind of, to be king. Right, right, yeah. right. That's the beauty of this is yeah. that he's a brand new, newly appointed king. He's been doing Black Panther for a little while now, but being king is a whole nother story. Yeah. The biggest strong suit of this movie <clears throat> is the story is Fucking fantastic. Yeah. It's a great story. It's so different from any other Marvel movie. This shit is wildly different. It's right. some crazy shit happening in Wakanda that I've never even done seen before. It's pretty dope. It, it's fucking beautiful. Like the visuals of cities in this world, in this town is like, wow. It's like so intricate and so detailed. You're trying to look at everything at once. And even when he's like just walking through town, there's so much stuff going on that just yeah. keeps you fully engaged in the movie at all times. It's amazing. Wakanda is so advanced with vibranium. They just have the craziest shit. It's like if fucking Elon Musk designed an entire country in South Africa, this is what Wakanda would be. It's just fucking nuts. It's, everything's magnetic and made of fucking metal crystals that are moving. It, it's crazy. <laughs> they got weapons. It's like, you think it's a spear, but it's a giant fucking pulse cannon. They got fucking UFOs and just, it's just knocking fuss. <laughs> and it's just out of control how crazy exactly. this fucking country is. <laughs> His costume is fucking bulletproof. Like, what are you going to do against the guy? But not only is it bulletproof, he fucking absorbs the bullets, dude. He's a motherfucking cat man. I'm a scat man. Not only is, is T'Challa, aka Black Panther, an awesome character, but his little sister, Shuri, Siri, she's she steals this movie. Yeah. She's like basically his cue. She stays back and designs all his technology. They even have like a James Bond scene where he, oh. she, he walks in and he's like showing her all the new gadgets she's made in her office. Like she's hilarious and I hope I see more of her in more of this MCU movies. She is the greatest side character since Jarvis. Well, she's human too. That's what <laughs> that helps. <laughs> yeah. She's got this attitude. She's like the little sister mm -hmm. and yet she's like mm -hmm. smarter than the big brother and she knows it. They have a good relationship. They're back and forth. It's like very realistic brother sister type. In terms of the cons here, we got to talk about them. Listen here. Why is it so hard to make a goddamn real piece of clothing for people to wear in the goddamn Marvel movies? First, Hela's got a fucking CGI hat. She can't even wear a fucking hat. Black Panther, <coughs> his costume is so cool looking and it's also so simple, yet half the time he's in costume, you could tell it's CGI. And it's for simple shit, even when he just like bending down to pick up a rock or something, it, you can see it's like a CGI bodysuit. Like, just put the fucking black leotard on and let's glue some teeth on the thing and let's call it a day here. He can wear the suit. I get the suit when it's coming onto his body. That Of course that's gotta be CGI. But Makes after sense. that, put on the pajamas, okay? <laughs> There's another scene too where a big fight scene and the camera starts to pan up and it shows all these people on the mountain and stuff. And the CGI really starts to lack at this point. <clears throat> Every fourth person is the same one. <laughs> it's not bad enough to take you out of the movie like say 
a CGI removed mustache. It's not that bad. I know the internet in general is just jerking off all over Michael B. Jordan, just the best fucking person that's ever been in a fucking MCU movie. Look, he's good. His character's motivation is solid for a villain. It's one of the best motivations a villain has ever had in a Marvel yes. movie, for sure. Yes. But it just, it was a little off putting seeing him just act as this like ghetto tough guy they kind of set up why he would act that way it's a little like off-putting seeing him paired up with this huge like regal african tribe and all this stuff and he walks in like yo i'm gonna burn it all down dude okay let's tone it back a little bit here okay i mean they actually said like he's this crazy Ghost Recon, extreme killer, and he's got a scar for every single person he killed, and I get that, but why does he just walk in strolling like 50 Cent? He spent most of his life in the military being a trained killer. Yeah. Like, the military would kick the living <laughs> shit out of you <laughs> for acting like that. So yeah. there's no way that all yeah. that shit would be able to carry on yeah. after that. To his credit, he's fucking jacked as fuck in this yes. movie. He is yoked to the fucking gills. He's the biggest fucking... I saw, we saw this in IMAX. Yeah. He's fucking almost went to the edge of the screen. He's fucking jacked. And when he was fighting T'Challa, I'm like, dude, you're fucked. This guy is yoked. He's gonna rip your fucking yeah. dick off oh, and absolutely. shove it up your own... Behold. With all that said, I will give Black Panther a sober. It's still a fucking great movie. Just from a storyline point of view, it's just fantastic. It's such a great journey. There's so much cool shit. It's so fucking different, which is so refreshing because so many movies, especially superhero movies, are so fucking similar now. In terms of having the first African-American superhero movie, I'm like, this could propel other superheroes to get their own movies now. Because there's now there's no limit. When Hollywood sees the numbers, like, holy shit, what? <laughs> but he's black! And then someone's like, hey, because it was a good movie. Yeah, exactly. Oh. We, we made a we could have made a good movie. Wow, this changes everything. You, I could not agree more. For my rating, I'm going sober. This is definitely gonna be one of those movies you're gonna wanna go and watch a second time in theaters. I'm very excited that they're pushing the envelope more and more. Cheers! Until next time, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and follow us on the Twitter and the in to Instagram, the Instagram and, the and the Facebook, the book face, and the what else we got? YouTube, MySpace. <laughs> <laughs>